Hey, how's it going? Uh, my name is Tin La and welcome to my DIY channel. Today, I did want to have an honest review about this 3D printer. It's called Voron 2 that I purchased from Fombot two months ago. It did take me a couple of weeks to put it together, but yeah, it, it's fun. I mean, I have really a lot of fun you know, putting it together, okay? And when I purchased it, it didn't come with any 3D printed part. Uh, you have to somehow print it on your own or get somebody else to print it for you. The kit itself is uh, only, you know, not included 3D printed parts and it cost me roughly about a thousand Canadian dollars because I didn't choose the electronic option. I didn't buy the Octopus controller board or the Victory Tech Pi computer thing. Um, yeah, I didn't use that, uh, so they really refunded me like 80 US dollars for those. Uh, but anyway, so today I'm just gonna go through it, the whole completely printer, how I feel about it, okay? Because this is like, I would pay this one on my own money, so the opinion is really mine. So, okay, so let's start it first. The uh, frame with the extrusion is really good. I mean, they, they machine the end so basically you can put them straight and square uh, if you have uh, some survey plate table uh, it's cut to size basically it and the frame itself some of them are not really good some of them are really you can find it rocky on the survey plate the tolerance is about like 0 0.003 3000 of an inch uh, flatness tolerance and I contact from Bob, they say that within tolerance, so I, I couldn't say anything else, but that's the frame. The linear blocks are preloaded, so it doesn't slice on its own weight. I got one issue with the linear blocks. If I apply pressure on one side, it's fine, but if I apply a load onto a different side of that linear block, it feels weird and it sounds weird. So I also contacted Fombot for that issue and they did send me a replacement for it. I don't have time to put it back in there. In the future, if I have some issue with it, I'm gonna remove it and put a new one in, see what happens. For the time being, I have no issue with printing the parts, you know, and you can see the surface finish of this, uh, you know, printed pretty good. I mean, I have no complaint about this one. So we'll see, so maybe it's fine, I mean, all right? So the linear rails are okay. Um, they are advertised as stainless steel, but it extracted the magnets, okay? So maybe different kind of stainless steel that do extract uh, magnets, okay? So I don't know about that, So, but anyway, so that's what it is. Um, I, I loop them up nicely and yeah, it works great. Uh, I have no issue, no complaint about it. The hardware also stainless steel and it doesn't attract uh, to the magnet a lot so it's maybe 300 series stainless steel your hands are gonna thank you a lot because you don't get your hands dirty due to the fact that the other kind of hardware which is the uh, uh, what it's called uh, the black ones the steel ones the steel hardware so these are stainless steel they don't get dirty on your hand so that's that's the big plus the other ones you get some oil residue from the hardware, so make sure that you clean your hands. You get your hand dirty on a lot of things, you know, um, with the machine. So, so that's the big plus. I really appreciate that they use stainless steel hardware for these. Uh, it's it's white, but who cares? Right? Some people prefer black, so they use steel. All right, so that that's big plus for me. I think that's what I think. The panels they come pre-cut to size. Uh, with a protective film uh, on both sides so you don't have to worry about scratching it or anything like that. The big plus about this uh, panel is that they use aluminum composite uh, for the bottom panel so that you don't get warp uh, due to the fact that the heat bed gets really hot, 100 degrees. So in previous kit, they have some sort of like color blast which really warp uh, after certain use. but. I have no issue with this thing, aluminum composite uh, panel, so it doesn't work. That's really, like, really nice a feature that Fombot uh, includes it in the kit. The linear motion, uh, that comes with the moon motors. They are nice. I mean, I tested myself with my dial test indicator for the TIR, which is the total indicator run out for these motors, okay? Everything that spins, uh, usually we check for um, the TIR, 
and these motor are pretty within spec. I checked them and then two of them are really spot on. There's no deviations on, uh, uh, from the TIR so I separate them to use as my A and B motor drives. So I'm really happy with the motors uh, from Moon Industry for in, in my kit. Okay, and the um, the belt, the belt here is from Gate, uh, original genuine Gate belt, uh, which is really like, I don't know, some other kit, some cheaper kit, uh, you know, they, uh, they include some different kind of belt, no brand name, whatnot, you know, but I prefer the Gate belt anyway, so that's a plus, okay. Yeah, I and mean, they included everything that you need to put it together, uh, like the machine like this, okay? Except for the fact that I did some mods to it. I used CAN bus, as you can see. I modded the X, Y, N stops, and you know, I don't use the track chain on my tool head. So that's the mod that I'm doing, you know, but if you purchase the uh, machine itself for the first time, I advise you to stick with the original build so you don't deviate too much because I already have the extra printer to print out the parts for my mod, so, uh, you know, that's, that's why. But if you have only one printer and you should stick to whatever uh, the instruction manual and then build one, okay? The aluminum build plate is also very flat. I double checked it on my surface plate. I'm pretty happy that they, they claim that within 0.1 millimeter flatness and I checked it and yeah, it's, it's actually 0.1 millimeter flatness for the uh, aluminum bed and it's high quality as well. I mean, yeah, you can see the videos. I put it over there. Everything's, I mean, I'm pretty happy with everything uh, basically it. They also included the uh, uh, the LEDs light here, they bright. I did my own the RGB LEDs at the back there, you can see. Um, but that's on me. And I really like the uh, Big 3 Tech uh, 5 inch touch screen over here, as you can see. I really like you can do everything to the machine using this screen. That's a really big plus. It connected to HDMI cable through the um, um, what's that, the Pi 3 controller. So let's talk about what I don't like. The first thing I would pop out into my mind that what's this? It's called 326 splitter for the AC line. Line neutral and ground, whatever you hook up in here and then split into two lines and then you, you use that for your uh, controller board and whatnot, you know? Yeah, I don't know what this is. I really don't like this one and it takes a lot of ton of space in your electronic compartments. It's really turned me off using this one. It's not even commercial made one, and uh, I don't know, you know, UL listed or whatnot, you know, I don't know. That's what I don't like about this. You know, hopefully the Thrombot, you know, use something better. I did buy a replacement for that, which is a Wago uh, connectors like this. So three of them, it cost me about $25 or something for a whole bunch of them. Three of these things you can split like lime, neutral, and ground for your AC line. Pretty nice. I mean, very convenient. It's very saving a lot of space uh, in your electronic compartment. Okay, it's I'll put a link if you don't know. I purchased on Amazon. So the kit itself came with tab. I didn't use it. I used BCB Clicky because I don't like the fact that you know my nozzle keep you know poking onto the uh, green bed. Um, the wire actually pretty nice too I mean I mean I have no issue with the um, the uh, uh, the wires uh, basically inside the electronic they include a mean well power supply uh, I cannot say anything about it you know it works by the time I finished this one I got a lot of extra parts I didn't use it all they also include the um, a channel sort of like cover for it they include four strip and I really like it uh, all those eilers has bearings inside them, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Other than that, yeah, it's great. I mean, if I have to build another one, I would go with Fomba, no question asked. I mean, they cheaper than other people get. For instance, Elio, way more expensive than the Fomba kit. And the Fistec one, they use double online motors, which I have bad experience with it, unless something changed. I didn't like it before, so that's why I decided to go with the Frombot kit when it comes with the Moon's motor. Yeah, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, don't you know, hesitate to drop down in the comment section below. 
I would happy to answer all your questions, so, you know. All right, so hopefully you like the videos. If you like it, please give a thumb up for my videos, and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, I'm going to show you my print. Yeah? Okay, bye-bye.